Hey, I want to talk to you a little bit about how I go about setting up my uh, Carbon Express arrows. First thing I do, usually when I take them out of the package, is I take my first finger and I put it on the back end. Now this applies to any carbon shaft, even any aluminum shaft for that matter. Um, if you're going to be installing components on the back end, you want to check and see how square the back end of that arrow shaft is. And it's an easy test. You put your finger against it and just give it a turn. And if you can feel any bump or any change back here on your finger, what it's telling you is that this cut maybe wasn't as square as it could have been uh, right out of the package for the factory. So what I'll do is I'll take my G5 Outdoors ASD tool here, arrow squaring device, and I'll put this on the bench and I'll show you guys how I square the back end of these shafts. So I've got my G5 ASD tool here to square the back end of the shaft. The stone has two sides to it. It has what I would call bladed side and it has a diamond hone side. This is the side I'm going to use, the diamond hone side. I'm going to take my shaft, I'm going to set it right in the notch, light pressure downward and a little bit of pressure this way against the stone. I'm going to hold the tool and I'm just going to rotate the shaft back and forth a few revolutions each way. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to check that. And that was enough to square that one up right there. So we're going to go to the next one. This one feels pretty good. It's got a slight bump in it. I'm just going to put it on there, do the same process. Just back and forth a few times, and that cleans the back end of the shaft right up. Periodically, this will get a little bit clogged up with carbon. I'll just give it a tap, or if it gets really bad, what I'll do is I'll actually take the stone off, put it in a cup of water, and just shake it out and then dry it out. Now after squaring up the back end of the shaft, I'm going to put the shafts on my arrow saw, I'm going to cut them down. Today I'm going to be running these at 29 inches. I'm also going to take and square the front end of the shaft as well. Now the reason for doing all of this is to get your components to mount up, first of all, a lot squarer to the shaft, and secondly, a lot straighter to the shaft. So you're going to have better concentricity. Concentricity is making sure the center axis of all your components, of your knock, of your bushing, of your point, all line up on the center axis of the arrow. So that as this arrow rotates and it bends as it goes through the air, that all the axes are all going to be aligned and nothing's going to be off-center. It's going to tighten your groups and make your shooting a lot more consistent.